Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. I'm going to start a new video series on the topic of Wave Logic. Wave Logic is a service or software provided by Oracle, and Wave Logic is used as an application server. We can host multiple kind of applications inside Wave Logic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wave Logic in Ubuntu machine. Before getting the web logic, we must have the Java installed on our system. Since I am downloading and installing Oracle Web Logic Server 14C, this requires the latest Java to install on your system. Go to the Java download page of Oracle. I will also add this link on the description box below. Go down. Check for JDK 22. This is the latest Java available till now. So, since I am using Ubuntu machine, I will download the dev package. I have already downloaded the Debian package. Let me quickly search on the download side. This is the latest uh, GDK file I have downloaded. So, uh, you have to go to now your terminal. Go to the download location first and list the Java file. You have the Java file over here. Now, to install this Java file, you can run the command sudo dbkg space minus i space the file name. Since I have already downloaded and installed the Java file, I will not do this operation right now. Check your Java version. My Java version is Java version 22 and it's the latest one. So, I can move forward with the installation of WaveLogic. Go to your WaveLogic download page and download this generic file. It is the generic installer for Oracle WaveLogic server and Oracle coherence. You have to have the username and password for your Oracle account. Let me download it. It is getting downloaded. I will come back once the download is completed. Download is completed. Go to the download location. Extract the zip file. Here is the main installer jar file. Open this jar file in the terminal and run the command java space minus jar space file name and hit enter. It is launching the installer. Your installation dialog box looks like this. The inventory directory is the home for engine or a inventory. You can click on OK. So this is the welcome page. Click on next. For now, you can skip auto updates. Click on next. Installation location. This will be the installation location. If you want, you can change this location. For now, I'm going to keep it default. Click on next. I'm going to install the WaveLogic server only for now. So click on next. It is checking the operating system certification, checking the Java version used to launch the installer. Okay, you can just ignore it and move on to the next step. It's, it's the installation summary. Click on install. The installation process has begun. Let's see if it completes successfully. The installation progress has completed. Click on a next. Installation is completed successfully. Click on finish. After the installation is completed, you will get the new dialog box for setting up your domain configuration. 
A domain is the basic administrative unit of WebLogic server. Uh, it consists of one or more WebLogic server instances and they are logically related resources and services that are managed as a one unit. So for now, we are going to create a new domain. I will just change this base domain to the new domain that I want. So for now, I will give test underscore domain. Click on next. Uh, you can just click on next. Here we have to create an administrative account. I will create an account for test app. Set up a password. This account is going to be used while you log in to the web logic. Click on next. The domain mode, select the production, which requires the entry of a username and password. Uh, the JDK is uh, automatically detected. Click on next. For now, we don't need any advanced configurations. If in case we need these advanced configurations, we can set up it later on. So for now, I will just go to next. This is the configuration summary. This is the test domain. And please uh, note down the location of your domain. For me, it's slash home slash Puranjan slash Oracle slash middleware slash Oracle underscore home slash users underscore projects domains test domain. This location is very important for starting our web logic application. And uh, now let's move on to create by selecting create to accept the above options and start creating and configuring a new domain. Click on create. The configuration process has also completed successfully. Click on next. This is the end of configuration. Uh, the new domain test domain is created successfully which is this location. You can also navigate to this location from your file explorer. Just go to home, find Oracle folder, middleware, Oracle home, and Oracle home, user projects, domain, test domain. And uh, the platform of WebLogic is going to be hosted on the port of 7001. When you start the WebLogic application, I will show it later on. And after starting the WebLogic application, if you go to this location, this URL, you will see the WebLogic UI page. Click on finish. The WebLogic has been successfully installed. Now let us start the WebLogic application and check the UI. To start the server, you have to go to this location up to your domain location and you can see our script file start web logic. Now open your terminal over here. So on this location, if you just list the files, you can see start web logic.sh file over here. This file is going to help us to boot up the web logic application server. Now let's run this script dot slash start weblogic.assets hit enter now you have to provide the username for booting the weblogic server the username which you have created earlier during the installation process the same username should be used my username is test underscore app give the password Okay, the server has been started successfully. Now let's go to this URL and see if the page is running up. One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one seven zero zero one slash console. Okay, you can see the WebLogic admin console. 
give the username and password again. So this is the final UI. We have successfully uh, installed the WebLogic application server. This is connected to, to the test domain and the username we are using is the test app. On upcoming videos, we will look into uh, the user management, group management, role management, how to deploy sample wire files or sample applications in WebLogic. Install MySQL database for WebLogic. We will configure WebLogic to use MySQL database. We will also uh, solve if there comes any uh, compatibility issues with our application servers and the database. We will also use our Docker to connect our WebLogic with the Oracle database as well. So there are a lot of videos on this series which will be coming up. I want your support. Please provide uh, your thoughtful comments on the comment section. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you on the next video. Please do take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.